In case you want to get the absolute best video quality on your iPhone, you gotta be shooting in ProRes Log. And the good part is you can do this directly within the iPhone. The bad part is the file sizes are absolutely gigantic and Apple is charging ridiculously high prices in case you want to upgrade to one terabytes of storage. In this video, we're gonna take a closer look at the smallest SSD in the entire world that's gonna solve this issue. It's actually already attached. It's from the company Plank. We're gonna take a closer look at it if this is the perfect solution in case you want to be shooting ProRes log and 4K at up to 120 frames per second. Let's get started. Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In case you're new here, welcome. Super excited to have you. My name is Julian. I'm a content creator. I'm an entrepreneur and I help you guys make better videos, turn that into a business, grow a YouTube channel. So in case that's interesting for you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So just before this video, I have been trying to shoot in ProRes log on my iPhone 16 Pro and I had three minutes left of internal recording, even though I have the 256 gigabyte version iPhone. The problem is with ProRes log, the file sizes are just absolutely ginormous. And when Plank reached out, if I wanted to test out their brand new, um, the smallest SSD in the entire world, it's actually pretty difficult to show you that on camera because it's that small. But I was very interested to test this out because, you know, to be honest, in day-to-day -day scenarios, I have barely ever been using ProRes log just because the file sizes are way too big. And having an external SSD with a cable attached, it's just not a super handy workflow to be honest. So let's take a closer look at the SSD itself and how you can get started. So basically it's like plug and play. So you have a USB type C connector right here. You just attach it to the iPhone and then you're basically ready to go. The iPhone recognizes the SSD automatically. And when you're in the camera mode in the video mode, you will see USB C at the bottom. And then obviously you will have, you know, a lot more storage and a lot more time that you can record ProRes log. Um, with the one terabyte version that I have, I'm just gonna, you know, show you you right now how much how long I can record if I switch over to ProRes log in 4k 60 frames per second I can record 73 minutes in 4k 120 36 minutes and in 4k 24 frames per second I can record up to 184 minutes which is absolutely awesome and also after you're done filming when it comes to you know transferring the files to your computer is super simple you basically just again detach it from the iPhone just put it into your MacBook or whatever computer that you have and since this is a super fast SSD the transfer speeds are also very high and it's not gonna take forever. You know, if you compare that to like a regular SD card, if you're recording for longer periods of time, the transfer times can be absolutely forever. So it's super awesome that this is, you know, a super fast SSD and that the speed is absolutely, you know, super fast. So when it comes to the Plank SSD, there is really not a lot that you can say. Like it is super small, super tiny. When you're filming with it, it basically disappears. The fact that this is so small also makes it, you know, super easy easily usable with any kind of gimbal. So no matter the type of gimbal that you have, I've tried it with the DJI om 7 p I've also tried it with the Hoem iSteady M7, also with the Scion Smooth 5S. So it's basically working with all of them, no problem. Also, when it comes to overheating or so, I have been recording for, you know, not forever basically, but just like for an hour or so, I had no issues whatsoever. Again, as I mentioned before, transfer speeds are super fast. The only issue that I found and the only thing that, you know, that makes this not like absolutely perfect for me personally is the fact that you know when I'm using this SSD my um, USB-C port on my iPhone is blocked which means I cannot use any kind of you know proper audio that I would also attach with USB-C so in my opinion that's the only downside because if I could have you know proper audio as I'm using it right now and record ProRes log internally at the same time like this would be you know absolute the best combination somehow possible unfortunately as of right now this is not possible, but maybe in the next iteration, this might be a thing. You can get the Plank SSD at one terabyte and also at two terabytes at the moment. And I'm pretty sure in the future, they will also go up even higher. And currently this is a Kickstarter project that you can back. So as of right now, as a recording of this video in you know late February, you cannot purchase this at the moment, but you can back the Kickstarter. They do have a couple of very good deals going on. I think the one terabyte version, the one that I have right here, um, you can get that for like 120 bucks or something which is, you know, an absolute killer price, especially if you compare it to the, you know, I don't know, $600 that Apple is charging. And you can even go up to two terabytes, which is not even a thing on, you know, on the Apple website. So in case you've found yourself in the past running out of storage and just having to delete a couple of stuff, you know, this might be a very good option for you. I will link everything down below. It will be the first link below that like button. Make sure you check it out. Huge thanks also to Plank for sending this over my way. They are not telling me what to say. I can do whatever I want. So this is just my 
true and honest opinion. As I mentioned, I have been using it. I have been testing it. It worked absolutely flawlessly. No problem. You know, the small footprint makes it just super versatile for me personally. Also perfect for traveling. To be honest, I have also just been using this as a regular SSD just because it is so small and so fast. So yeah, thumbs up from my side. As I mentioned, the only one downside for me personally is that I cannot plug in like a proper other microphone with the USB-C port. But other than that, it is perfect in my opinion. So again, check it out. It will be linked down below. Huge thanks for watching. In case you have not seen the video where I'm showing you the DJI OM7P, which is their brand new gimbal, check out this video over there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.